I'm Kirk Johnson, Chief Curator at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, and I'm sitting here in the big bone room surrounded by these amazing fossils from the Snowmass site that we discovered last fall in Snowmass Village, Colorado. In about two weeks of digging, we found parts of 30 different Ice Age animals, including things like mastodons and mammoths, giant bison, giant ground sloth. We even got a complete deer with fossil antlers intact on it. We also found parts of smaller animals, things like salamanders and mice. The site also had fabulous fossil plants. We worked like mad for almost two weeks as winter closed in, and by November 15th, the ground was frozen, the snow was coming down, and we had to leave for the season. When we finished digging last November 15th, our work was just beginning. We had found something like 600 bones and 16 tusks, countless pieces of wood and logs. All those fossils had to be brought back to Denver and taken care of. The bones and wood were wet. We had to dry them out very carefully. If we dry bones and wood too fast, it cracks. Dry it too slow, it molds. So each one of those bones is placed in its own plastic bag and monitored by our team of conservators. And we watched the bones dry. Pretty boring, but we watched them dry. And then we took them up to the preparation lab where we glued the missing pieces back together and made sure that the bones were stable. That's the first step of getting the things under control. Then we get into the process of science. We started sampling the bones for different kinds of scientific tests, We're trying to figure out how old the bones are, what kind of animals they come from, what kind of things happened to those animals when they died and got buried. All that's part of the science, and that really explains why it's gonna take us a while to get these things on display, because the science has to come first. We have to figure out what we've got and what it means before we display it and start talking about it. Now, at the same time, we've been preparing for this amazing dig up at Snowmass Village. We've recruited a team of trained excavators, people who have gone through our certification program in paleontology, professional scientists, museum staff, and we're looking forward to an amazing excavation where we have to move something like 3,000 yards of dirt and get more bones out of this incredible site in Ziegler Reservoir. Last fall, we had some great scientists who helped us understand what we were finding on the dig. This spring, I'm gonna bring in 36 scientific specialists from 16 universities in four countries. We're doing this because the site is so important and we have no idea what we're gonna find. So we wanna have a full team of real experts on site as this dig starts to unfold. So it's gonna be an amazing process of science happening, discoveries being made, and you can follow these discoveries in a couple of different really interesting ways. First of all, you can follow Ian Miller, my team co-leader and I, as we Twitter, use the hashtag IceAgeDig. You can also like Denver Museum of Nature and Science on Facebook. Also, just come to our website, www.dmns.org, where we'll be posting weekly updates, both in video form and still photographs. And finally, watch our website for upcoming events in the Roaring Fork Valley, where you can actually learn about what we're finding at this amazing Ice Age Dig. This promises to be one of the most interesting and significant fossil sites in North America. So stay tuned.